using the screen of the phone tap tap you see some 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 pollen and sometimes you see also some pests that are moving in capsicum farming you need to have fast knowledge of uh, good skills when handling pests and diseases and fill it to that you meet a lot of challenges be it the open food uh, capsicum like the one here or the greenhouse capsicum uh, because if you cannot be able to identify this pest prior attack or prevent them prior attack you are in big trouble uh, in our uh, today's lesson i want us to focus on just one pest uh, this was a request um, by made by a few farmers and today we discuss about drips uh, what is drip how do we identify the drip and how do you control the drip when does it attack a drip, in farmers' now point of view, not the agronomy uh, definition, a drip is a very tiny pest, sometimes not very really visible uh, if you don't have a, a sharp eyesight. You need something to magnify for you to be to see a drip. And where do we see the drips? Drips are seen in the flowers, like this one. This is where we see the drips. That where we usually see the drips. So when the crop is not flowering, expect that you are not going to see any drip if they're there they're just waiting until the cups come grows but unlike the cabbages and other crops the cabbages and uh skuma wiki you'll find some drips eating on the vegetables on the lower side of the vegetable but for the capsicum they come specifically to uh, extract sap from the flowers so uh it's a tiny pest usually attacking the flowers in most cases when it's very hot and dry, that's when they are very vigorous. They, they are very rampant and sometimes we are unable to control them. Uh, farmers who are doing over irrigation, like me using sprinkler irrigation, that reduces a number of drip, drips to an economical point or to a point where they, are not, they cannot bother you uh, very much. So, for you to identify the drip, what if you want to see the drip, you come and hold uh, the leaf, uh, the, not the, the flower this way using the screen of the phone be it uh, uh, dark or, or uh, be it white eh? uh, using the screen of the phone tap 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 the, the flower on top of the, the phone you will go to the next flower tap tap you see some, some, some pollen that are falling on on the screen of the of, of, of the of your phone and sometimes you see also some pests that are moving if your your phone your, your eyes cannot be able to view your phone very clearly use a white paper come tap tap the pollen will fall there and some pests will also be seen they are in different colors they are in black they are in yellow they are in brown and some are in white so that's how you identify the drip. But don't wait until you see the drip. You need to control the drips as much as you can. In my case, uh, I've been uh, over the irrigation or sprinkler irrigation has been helping me to control the drips. That way you can see now uh, when my, my flower is setting, I also am having some fruit. I'm not losing the, the flowers because the drips usually sucks the sap from the flowers then the fruit the flower falls you may think it's a deficiency you run to get uh to get some uh, product that will will prevent a uh, flower fall sometimes you think it's a deficiency but it's drip that is attacking you and if you you see them in your in your farm you can use a uh, product uh, like i usually use a product with a uh, uh, better safe fruit green and um uh, better say fruit green and iminda crop read. I've been using that to be able to control. Those are the active ingredient to be able to control the drips. But there are so many other products to control the drips. So what you need to do is first to be able to identify the problem or when the flower comes, go buy a specific product to control the drips because you have both inorganic and organic product to control the drips in your capsicum, uh, in your watermelon and in all flowering veg that you are farming so from there if you are able to control that 
know that definitely you are going to the market. Uh, sometimes uh, when they are not in big numbers or when they are not in plenty, they end up also affecting the, 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 the new forming fruits. The fruit uh, become deformed or uh, they become uh, not very beautiful. They have some marks, drip mark, which is not accepted or rejected in the market or sold at a lower grade. So by controlling of the drip, you get the best quality of the fruit and you get as many fruit as possible. Hope you've learned something from uh, today's discussion. I uh, hope uh, you've, you are, you've liked our today's training. If this is the first time that you are watching me, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.